Hello everyone and welcome back to another little video of my series, my three favorite licks, this time uh, off of a George Benson F Improv, which is off of a, uh, an instructional DVD, I believe it's called The Art of Jazz Guitar. Um, I don't have it, but I've seen this improv a long time ago now and like many of us was just uh, taken away by, by George Benson's abilities and, and just uh, the playing is incredible and I just it's one of those one of those that I listened and immediately said I have to get to the bottom of this one way or the other so after you know just quite a bit of listening and, and trying and you know I was able to I believe figure it out and and extrapolate I would say if that's even a word uh, some really really cool ideas and to actually pick um, three ideas out of this was really 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 difficult to do uh, because the ideas are so many and you you know there, there's probably 50 or you know at least 30 <laughs> but I, uh, I like to keep it as simple as possible so I keep it I'll keep it to three and even of those ideas I wanted to to kind of keep or, or find the simplest ones that I think can be easy to remember and easy to implement in your playing basically right away so let's jump into the first one and the first two actually are going to be ideas over turnarounds, basically. The, the blues is an F improv, but it's a blues jazz improv, so there's many interesting uses of the turnaround. The tune is an F, of course, and so let's just jump right into it. The first turnaround that caught my attention was the following. So what's happening here is that there's a melody within the harmony and it's really cool to hear this C becoming C sharp in the melody, becoming D and then D sharp or E flat off to F. And harmonically what's going on is that because the tune is an F the blues would be dominant, but it's still a one, so it's just as if it was a major. This little turnaround starts on the third of F, which is A minor. It's just a triad because the C is ringing. And then what happens is, so because the tune is an F, F and A minor are essentially connected because if you remember the diatonic scale, F being the third degree, sorry, A being the third degree of uh, of F makes it an immediate substitute. So you would have F major, G minor, and A minor. Now the whole, the just the triad supports that C in the melody. What happens next is the bass motion is descending. So you have the A, and then while the bass goes to the A flat, and it's actually using this A flat minor uh, 11 with the with the C sharp here, and then onto the G minor 7, and then F sharp 13, and then he uses first inversion of F to resolve. And why does that work? Because if you remember uh, your basic turnaround structure would be one, six, two, five. So F, D minor, which could become D, D dominant. And then your G is minor, but could become dominant as well. And then C, of course, is dominant, right? So off of these, essentially, because a dominant and a minor chord in jazz are very often substitutable because, again, if you see that, that D minor 7, right, you just move the, the, the first finger up a half step and that becomes a dominant sharp 9. So three of the notes are the same. 
and just one is altered so that makes makes it for a, a pretty straightforward substitution in terms of when three or f when three of four of the notes are the same and one is only a half step most of the times you can you can interpret that as substitutable right so a minor to a flat minor 9 or sorry minor 11 because essentially if we if we think in terms of of the tritone substitution essentially you would have f d the tritone of d is a flat and and the reason why I'm why George why George Benson stays on the minor is for I guess parallel colors I mean you have a minor here you have a uh, a flat minor here you know but I guess it could have been you could have chosen a, some kind of a dominant chord right it could have been but he's going with all minors so a minor seven with C on the melody B flat minor 11 a flat sorry minor 11 with the C sharp on the melody G minor 7 which contains that D which is the 2 and then the 5 would be C but again the tritone substitution allows for the F sharp 13 in this case so that supports a descending bass to the F sharp and then a rising melody to the D or to the E flat right and then half step between basically the first inversion of F would be would be this this four note chord right here so you have A F C and then of course F again so it's just a half step half step approach to that so again So that's a turnaround you can just simply implement immediately. Every time you have, any time you have a, you have a, 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 a one chord, you can you can basically start that on the third of it with a minor, minor seven triad, go down a half step, and it's a minor eleven four note chord. Then you have a natural minor seven. Descending still and then descending still F sharp 13 and Then you solve So instead of You would have So that's it for your first idea, okay, so here we get to the second idea which is another turnaround idea And it's even more exotic if you will and it, this is what it sounds like I heard this one I was like wow I need to understand what's going on here and I think I do what's happening here the first chord starts with this B in the bass again remember 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 the progression of a turnaround is always F 1 6 or dominant 2 minor or dominant and then 5 dominant or dominant altered back to one here we're starting with a B and why is that because if F is your one and it's considered dominant for the tritone substitution flat five is B and then it's basically using a, a, a D flat uh, triad but if you look at it from the point of view of B you have B the A flat is 13 or 6 the C sharp or D flat is is basically your ninth so 13 9 and then of course you have your flat 5 here so it's really a tritone substitution of F7 quite a push but but again here there's a there's a sort of a uh, um, 
well, there is a, a, a descending bass line concept that is tying everything together. <laughs> first chord off of F the second now this you could call this basically a B flat major 6 9 as well right because it contains the sixth the ninth and then the fifth here so and remember that the second degree of a turnaround is G minor and the relative major of G minor is B flat major. So here's why, in my opinion, this is why this chord works in this progression, because you're coming from a base of B, and then half step back, you have a B flat, which is really substituting the D. But a lot of those tones are common, like I said, because you have this F right here, and this C which which are part of both the D7 sharp 9 or the B flat major. So again, there's a lot of common tones that you can lead that you can think of when you when thinking in terms of substitutions. If you have two, three common tones, that's grounds for for a possibility. And why does that sustain itself is because in the meantime you're using a descending bass which is only a half step away, so that creates a somewhat of a logical motion in our ear, right? The next one is going to be this chord right here. Now, essentially here there should be G minor or G minor 7 where you have this F still, but again, throughout this whole progression, The F is a constant is a constant note that's keeping everything together. So again, essentially you have a G minor a G minor chord, but the chord the actual bass is A flat. Again, because moving the bass, you're gonna go for a half step on the first one. Then to go all the way down to G, you could do it, but it's a bit of a a larger step than if it was just uh, in this case a full step, right? And also, because the chord is G minor, but also could be and often is used as a dominant, then that dominant implies that you could use a flat 9. So again, there's always that, that, that possibility of ex interchanging dominant chords and minor 7 chords. Um, so it's, I would think of it as a G minor a G minor with an A flat in the bass or a G7 flat 9 G minor 7 flat 9 and then you're coming to a tritone substitution but not with a dominant in this case with a major 6 9 because you have your 6 here. It's an F sharp with a 6, with a 9, and with a 5, so it's a F sharp major 6 9, and the 7th up here. And then the last chord is your F13, which always contains that F. So this turnaround obviously is going to sound even more out than the first one but uh, something that you can use maybe in solo guitar where you're, you're wanting to get away from the obvious or the even which is nice enough change but here you get even more variation by using a descending bass and some really not so obvious chords okay that's it for your second idea the third idea is a single line phrase, very simple little single line phrase of, off of the B flat 7, which is your fourth degree of the blues, right? And it's, well, it's played. It's just a very simple dominant bluesy line. Here it is. 
So what's really happening here that I think is effective is that triplet going through the seventh, seventh and the sixth or the thirteenth. And then it's going into that F. So again, you're playing it off of the B flat seven. then bouncing between the uh, seventh, the flat seventh and the sixth and then this is really going back to the F before a half step motion to that major to that major triad. So it's really bouncing between B flat seven and F major to create again some motion in the phrasing, right? This is really back to F, right? F. Right? So again, it's just a little simple phrase which bounces between your B flat seven and your F which gives you some harmonic motion, but you can basically play it off of that dominant chord, that B flat seven, and it has that nice feel with that triplet. So that's it for your third idea. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got something out of it. Um, never hesitate to leave some comments or ask some questions if there are any. And yes, definitely please subscribe hit the notification bell and uh, yes if you if you if you find some value in these you know stay stay in touch and uh, and we'll see you soon on a new episode of my three favorite licks peace